Welcome everyone to the brand new video here on my YouTube channel. My name is Yannick and today's tutorial we are going to spend only in After Effects learning how you can recreate 3D graphics like these ones. You'll see it's going to be very easy and will take just a few minutes to set up to create something really interesting. I also created a quick tutorial here on my Instagram page but I thought it would be worth to create a follow along tutorial where you can see all the details and the entire process behind it. Awesome, that's it for the intro and let's fire the After Effects. Alright, we are starting with your clear composition, so let's click on that. I'm going normal full HD and black color and 5 seconds duration. Let's rename the composition to main comp. And over here you can see we have three tabs. So let's go to 3D render and make sure that you have advanced 3D enabled and not just classic 3D. Otherwise we will not have all the features that we need to create this project. Click OK and we can go ahead and create our first shape. So. Of course, this tutorial is gonna work for any type of shapes, so squares, rectangles, or any other shape that you can think of and create with a pen tool. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna use a basic circle. So let's create our first circle by pressing Shift. And then let's make sure that it's in the middle of the composition. And let's also make sure that the anchor point is in the middle of the shape. So press Ctrl or Command and double click on this tool. And that's how we reset the anchor point to the middle. Perfect. Now the next step is to make the layer 3D and that's over here. The button you can see it's a little cube and now we can go ahead and press R. You can see it added all these arrows around and now I can drag this value and just make sure it's somewhat slightly angled so we see what we are doing when we are going to extrude and that's what we are going to do now. So let's go to over here to geometry options. Let's give it a bevel depth of 15 in this case and extrusion depth of then if I zoom in you can see now we are extruding the shape just like that and actually let's decrease it to 5 I think that will be enough and let's also set the bevel style to convex now it's gonna actually make the difference just to explain to you the other bevel styles you can see there is a concave which is a similar thing but in this case it's angled inside the shape so you can see now it's going like this which is not what I want. And the angular one, as you can see, we have a straight angle like this and like this, so more like an arrow. But in this case, I want nicely rounded shape. Awesome. So let's also go to material options. And all we are going to do here is we are just going to set the specular shininess to 60%. However, you can play around with these values and find what you like the most. So for example, if you want a more plasticky look, I can decrease the metal and maybe increase the diffuse but again, I want to go with full metallic and sort of shiny object. Let's also change the color from white because that's quite boring. So maybe nice purple like this. And now we are done with setting up the shape. So all we need to do now is I'm going to reset the rotation to zero again. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the anchor point outside of the shape. So not this value, but this one. And I'm going to put it below the anchor point. So you can see here in the middle, the anchor point is not moving. And that's exactly what we want because we are going to rotate the shape around this anchor point. So we get the entire full circle. And right now we are just going to duplicate the shape and make sure that we fill out the entire circle with these little circles. So just to show you exactly what I mean is I'm going to duplicate by pressing command or control D, press R to bring up again the rotation. And in this case, we are going to work with the X rotation. So over here, and you can see because we set the anchor point outside of the shape, we are now rotating the circle around the middle of the composition, which is exactly what we want. In my case, I'm going to use 36 circles so i'm going to give it increment of 10 and now i'm going to keep duplicating the shape until i fill out the entire circle so like this and 30 and again and so on and so on now of course you can choose your own amount of circles so you can also go with 20 degrees you can also go with 45 degrees which will give you eight circles i believe i'm not really good in math but you get the point right so i'm now going to fast forward and fill out the entire circle with my shapes Awesome. So now I'm done. And as you can see, I have truly 36 circles and this is how it looks. And if you want to check out your creation in the 3D space, you can actually do so by clicking over here on the orbit around tool. If you want to zoom out, you can do so with this tool, just like this. So you can see exactly how it looks. Now I'm going to reset the default camera to get back. And now we are actually going to make it really cool because we are going to play around with lights. So let's go to layer new and add our first light. I will select a point light and set the intensity to 100. 
and press OK. And now I'm going to drag it over here to the left side of the composition. And now you can see we are starting to get these nice reflective edges. And I will also add one extra light. So again, over here. And this time I will select environment and 100 and also make sure that the cast shadow is selected and press OK. Now we just have to wait to render it out. Although I don't like how bright it is. So maybe I'm going to decrease the intensity to 50%. And also I'm going to reduce the quality to quarter because this is a bit harder on the computer to render out. And now the only thing that we are missing is to be able to control the scale and the rotation of the entire graphic. And for that, we are going to use a null object. So layer, new, and add a null object. Again, make it a 3D layer by pressing here. I'm going to position it over here. And now we have to parent all the circles to the null. So to select all of them, I'm going to press on the color over here and select label color. That's how you can select all the circles. And now I'm going to take the pick web tool and drag it onto the null. Bring up the scale value and I decrease it. You can see we are now scaling it down or up however we need. So the same with rotation. If I press R to bring up the rotation, you can see now I'm able to rotate the shape however I want. And the most important thing that we need is over here under the X rotation. So you can see that if I play around with this value, you can see now I'm getting this nice rotation effect. So I'm actually going to set it to zero and I'm not going to set any keyframe for this, but instead I'm going to press Alt or Option and press on the stopwatch, which brings up the expressions. And I'm going to type time asterisk 20, which I believe is 20 degrees per second of rotation. If if I'm wrong, then please correct me in the comments. Obviously, if you want it faster, you will increase this number. So for example, if I put 150, actually, maybe let me disable all these shapes. So now you can see, you can see how fast it's rotating, but I want to keep it just subtle and slow. So I'm just gonna go with 20 degrees like this. And now we can just, again, make all the shapes visible. But of course, on top of that, let's animate our orientation. So maybe let's set it like this, click on the stopwatch, go to the end of the animation, and let's give it a nice subtle rotation, just like that. And this is how it looks fully rendered out. Again, you can just go ahead and play around with different rotation values. And one extra thing that I want to show you is changing the colors of the point light and the shapes themselves. So if you would like to experiment with different colors, obviously you have the option to change the color of the spotlight. So for example, if I try like an orange color, now we have these nice red edges. For example, if I increase the intensity to 300, the red is going to be more prominent. I can also change the color of the shapes. So I, if I select all of them and I go to fill, actually let's give it a completely white color. So you see how the point light is affecting the shapes. So again, if I go to point light, I can change it to nice rich blue, press OK. And again, we get a completely different look. So go ahead, experiment with different shapes, with different colors, different intensity of the lights. Maybe I can also disable the environment light and decrease the intensity. Again, a completely different look that you can have so much fun with. And that's all I wanted to share with you today. You can see how easy it was to set it up. So go ahead and play around with different shapes, lights, and just create something cool on your own. I would really love if you share your work with me, for example, in DMs on Instagram. And if you have any questions or doubts, then just drop them down in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate subscribe, comment, or like. And yeah, until next time.